Hey everybody, Andy with Two Rivers Counterfeits. Um, had a question from some viewers about uh, specifically mixing paint, especially the Rust-Oleum paints that we use um, on some of our birds and the thinning ratios and things like that. So I'm gonna uh, show you the thinning ratio that I use, which is about 50-50. I use a product called Natfa. Available everywhere, Lowe's, Granger, whatever your local hardware store is, they probably have Natfa. And uh, I keep it in a little squirt bottle just so it's always here labeled um, up on top. But I use uh, these Rust-Oleum paints in a 50-50 mix um, with the naphtha. And I'm also going to mix up a batch of the dark brown color that uh, we use on just about everything. So uh, it's about a 60-40 mix. Uh, you're probably going to want to get some uh, of these little popsicle sticks from your craft store. They're really handy for uh, both measuring paint and for mixing. Um, and you're also going to want to make sure that you have caps for your bottles. That way Rather than sit there stirring all day, you can just shake them up, mix them a little bit better. So for flat black, uh, all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour it in. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is I I'll take a punch, like a little leather punch, a little tool. You can get these at Harbor Freight. They're cheap. Um, it's got a really sharp, hard tungsten end on the end. And uh, I'll actually poke a couple of holes in the drain tray and that will allow any paint from a pour to go down back into the can so that it doesn't accumulate and over time because I open and close these cans a lot because I don't use real big quantities at once. It'll make your paint last longer, which uh, will save you some money in the long run, which is kind of what part of this process is all about anyway, is uh, saving you a little bit of money on your, on your hobbies. So I'm just gonna tell you, I'm just gonna pour about uh, half or so. Then I'm going to come in with my naphtha and I'm going to put it in there and, and the, the saying is about the consistency of, of milk. Um, I say it's about a 60-40 to 50-50 ratio. Um, but once you stir it up and mix it up, it should drip off pretty quick. That's probably still a little bit too thick. Yeah, you want it dripping off a little bit faster than that. But let me give it a good shake. We'll see what we got. Nope, that's what that's what we want right there. So I actually did get it about right. You want it dripping off pretty fast. That's pretty close. That's close enough that I'd go with it. And if it starts sticking to my uh, my airbrush my airbrush needle and clogging up, I'll uh, I'll go back over it and put a little bit more naphtha in there to thin it out. So for a mix, the dark brown color, for example, that we use on black ducks and geese and just just about everything else. 60-40 um, brown to black. So all I'll do is I'll take popsicle stick, stick it in the brown, and I'll take six basically stickfuls. One, I'll wipe it off on the edge so I get it all in there. Two, three, four, five, then I'll take black and do the same thing only I'm going to do four one two three Now before I add my naphtha on any thinned color, and you gotta remember when you're, when you're filling these bottles up that you're gonna add about 50% volume of naphtha to it, so you always wanna leave enough room. Um, I'm gonna shake it up and look at the color itself with no thinner in it. And I'll adjust from there. 
It's about perfect. A nice chocolate color. So I'll go ahead and take my naphtha. Add that. Perfect. Ready to paint.